Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see about classification of bacteria based on nutritional requirements. Classification of bacteria based on source of energy. As I told you, sunlight and chemical compounds are the two major sources of energy. Bacteria which derive their energy from sunlight are called phototrophs. Bacteria which derive their energy from chemical reactions are called hemotrophs. Classification of bacteria based on sources of electrons. We know that organic compounds and reduced inorganic compounds are the major sources of electrons. Some bacteria can use organic compounds as electron donors and are called organotrophs. Organic compounds, organotrophs. Some bacteria can use reduced inorganic compounds as electron donor and are called lithotrophs. Classification of bacteria based on source of carbon. Carbon dioxide and organic compounds are the sources of carbon. Bacteria which can use carbon dioxide as their major source of carbon are called autotrophs. Bacteria which can use organic compounds as their carbon source are called heterotrophs. Next we are going to see about phototrophs. Some phototrophic bacteria use inorganic compounds as their source of electrons and are called photolithotrophs. Some phototrophic bacteria use organic compounds as their source of electrons and are called photoorganotrophs. Some phototrophic bacteria under certain circumstances can grow as a hemotroph. Next, we are going to see about hemotrophs. Some hemotrophic bacteria can use inorganic compounds as their source of electrons and are termed hemolithotrophs. Some hemotrophic bacteria can use organic compounds as electron donors and are called hemoorganotrophs. Some bacteria can grow as either hemolithotrophs or hemoorganotrophs. Next, we are going to see about autotrophs. Autotrophic bacteria exhibit the simplest nutritional requirements. Autotrophs are able to utilize atmospheric carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Autotrophs can transform a mixture of inorganic compounds into the carbohydrates proteins, nucleic acid, lipids, vitamins, etc. Autotrophs plays an important role in cycling of elements through biological system. And a very important point to be noted about autotrophs is that autotrophs are capable of independent existence in water and soil and are of no medical importance. Autotrophs plays an important role in agriculture and the maintenance of soil fertility. Some autotrophs are facultative autotrophs. They can either live as autotrophs deriving their carbon from carbon dioxide or they live as heterotrophs deriving their carbon from organic compounds. Some autotrophic bacteria derive their energy from sunlight and are called photoautotrophs. Photoautotrophs have chlorophyll pigment to capture sunlight. Some autotrophic bacteria derive their energy from chemical reactions and are called hemoautotrophs. Photoautotrophic bacteria played an important role in the evolution of an oxygen-rich atmosphere on Earth. 
heterotrophs. Heterotrophic bacteria have been studied more extensively than the autotrophs because heterotrophs can cause diseases of human beings, other animals and plants. Cultivation of heterotrophs. Depending on the species, the nutritional requirements may be relatively simple or complex. Heterotrophic bacteria are unable to grow with carbon dioxide as the sole source of carbon. The nutritional requirements of heterotrophs vary widely. Some may require only a single organic substance such as glucose, while others may need a large number of different I'm compounds concluding such my as video here. amino and acids, so in my nucleotides, lipids, carbohydrates and coenzymes. Among heterotrophs, some bacteria have elaborate requirements for specific nutrients and such heterotrophs are designated as fastidious heterotrophs. Some heterotrophic bacteria can use light energy and are called photoheterotrophs. Some heterotrophic bacteria derive their energy from chemical reactions and are called hemoheterotrophs. Hemoheterotrophic bacteria are further classified into saprophytic bacteria and parasitic bacteria. Saprophytic bacteria, those bacteria which depend on dead and decaying matters are called saprophytic bacteria. The saprophytic bacteria are also known as decomposers. Because these bacteria can convert complex organic substances into simple chemicals. Parasitic bacteria. Parasitic bacteria obtain their nutrition from the host tissues on which they grow. Some are harmless and some causes serious diseases in plants, animals and humans. Finally, we are going to see about obligate parasites. Obligate parasites have not yet been successfully cultivated on an artificial medium and their physical and nutritional requirements are not understood. As I told you in my first video, microbiology is the field of science with immense scope. So learn it, make great discoveries and help the field to grow. Thank you friends.